Good afternoon, Bellboy Brand. Reason, reason why I say this, just because I was looking at one of my ZM's profiles um, on LinkedIn, and he was saying, hey, you need to be reading a book a month, whether it's you're reading it, whether you're listening to it, you need to be having that new information coming through, because um, it's only going to make you a better person. Um, so just a couple books that I can think of off the top of my head. I know I read The Richest Man of Babylon. I've talked about that before. Um, just keynote off that. It says pay off debt, even if it's just a small amount. It's just something to think about. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, I actually started that today. It's actually free on YouTube. There's about a six and a half hour clip that you can watch and listen to. Um, so if you don't have time to really sit down and read and have to really be able to take all your focus for that, um, throw it on in the car, throw it on while you're cleaning or doing something at your house. Um, so I want to give a shout out to Regard. He posted in the group um, about the 10 times rule. I'm definitely going to be reading on that one or listening to it next. Um, but I would definitely want to get through Rich Dad, Poor Dad first. Um, so news, uh, a couple things going on right now. The NBA's in talks of really bringing back the season in July. Um, so with sports coming back to life, um, it's definitely going to see some change in the stock market. Um, just for demand, ESPN, Disney, um, obviously they're going to see some benefits from that. They're going to get a lot more viewers. Um, other things, in-person rallies for the campaigns are going on. So what that means is there's just going to be a lot of things and a lot of versatility going on in the stock market. And it always is every election season. Um, so it's not nothing to be too worried about. Um, I think that's called a kangaroo rather than bear or bull, just because, um, things are kind of going up and going down. Um, so it's really smart to be able to take advantage when things are at their highs and noticing when they're at their highs selling and then buying low to really reduce your average. Um, changes coming to the police and other government agencies as well as new laws. And uh, what that's going to do is that's definitely going to just impact different, um, different sources of the industry. So specifically things that I can think of is new, if there's, um, the police is getting defunded. I think that new security measures are going to be taken by everyday business, um, because they're not going to have someone that they can just call. So industries that might benefit from that, it's just private security, um, probably guns and weapons too. Um, just all types of different ways for people to be able to safe lock what they're doing in order to protect their business. Um, so this week, we definitely ha- I definitely had a tough week myself. Um, I'm not really surprised by it because the week we had last week was absolutely fantastic. Um, so everything's going to balance out. I'm down 11% on the week, um, but coming up from being down tw- 12% and then going up 20%, I'm not surprised that we're going to see a little bit of influx there. Um, So a couple things that went well this week for me, um, Vector IQ, they merged into Nicola, and they're up 52%, so they're about at $60. Um, Inovio, they're up 10%. They're still really going up and down. It's one of those vaccine companies. Um, So I'm hoping on it, jumping up. Um, Vivint Solar, we're up 1%. Um, Plug Energy, we're up 2%. Hexo, we're up 11%. Shout out to... um, Megatron, Megatron, Jay Johnson, that's who it is. He's, he's the one who told me about Hexo, um, up 11% this week. Um, it skyrocketed for a little bit, but then it dropped back down, but I see it going back up again too. Uh, Roku also up 2%. Um, so now we'll go to my lows, and I got a lot of lows this week, um, so I'll just brush over a couple of them. Um, MCP down 15%. Um, that's an oil industry, oil gas. OVV, that's also oil and gas, tw- down 20%. Um, Shell was also down 12 um, GE down 12%, Luckin Coffee down 26 um, I was doing very well with Groupon for quite a while. Um, I bought in just under a dollar, um, and I was really excited when it started to go up and up and up. I was at $1.30, $1.20, um, but I was definitely seeing gains on there. Um, they had a reverse split, and it made it go down 37%. So I was finally making some nice winnings off that. They had a new um, officer and a- exec that they brought in um, from Amazon. Um, So that definitely changed things, really rough the pot. Um, But seeing the reverse split, generally not that great for companies. Um, So that's something I'm a little bit worried about. Um, Disney down 7%. Um, Again, with sports coming back, as they're adding any type of extra things that we can be watching on TV, whether it be through Disney Plus or whether it be through the ESPN, um, I definitely think that's going to bring extra ratings and that's just going to drive numbers up. Um, so I'm going to go my pick of the week. Um, small businesses are opening up. I know a lot of the business owners that I met with this week 
were talking about like, hey, we have outside seating now. It kind of just got shotgunned on our lap and we weren't really expecting and ready um, for all the changes. Um, but with that, I know I had dinner down at the waterfront down in Newburgh at this restaurant called Billy Joe's. And they definitely had to change like everything that they were really doing. They had paper menus, plastic forks and stuff like that. So the industries that are going to be affected by that are paper companies, people who are making those um, like the little packets with the fork, the knife and the silverware, the cutlery. Um, so companies that are making those are definitely going to see some influx and people are going to be loading up on them right now because who knows how long we're going to be in this type of environment where we're going to have to be outside and, and how long we're going to have to socially distance and, so, and such. Um, so my pick of the week this week, their ticker is IP. It's called International Paper. Um, the reason why I picked this company is just because everyone's going to be loading back up on their paper so that they're going to be able to go through normal business. Um, not only do people have air dryers and stuff, but every bathroom is using paper products. Every bar that's going to be opening up is using paper products, napkins. Um, so International, they're down 10% on the week, um, but I definitely think they're going to see some benefits going up and moving forward. Um, same thing with like Cintas too. They're they're going to be feel really feeling that return to work and, and the return to people. Um, more things with International Paper. They do have a 5.87% dividend. Um, so that's that's fantastic. A lot of the companies that do have dividends, they're more around the 3% range. Um, before Corona, IP International Paper was at $42. Um, and right now it's at $34.92. Um, so we're definitely still $8 below what it would generally be at before Corona. And over the course of 10 years, it, it is a producing company that has increased its stock value. I think it said it was up, up 7% in 5 or 10 years. I'm, I'm not sure which, which one I actually looked at, but definitely up 5%, 7%, 7% um, the overall of the initial public offering um, for the company. So it's it's something that I definitely see moving forward being a good thing, especially because the only reason they're only up 7% is because of the coronavirus and COVID. Um, so last week is one of the first weeks that my stocks really just kind of got hit hard. I, my winner, my winners, the ones that I picked did not perform that well. Um, Unfi, that's that plastic company, nylon company, they're down 12%. Um, so that, ouch, <laughs> that hurts a little bit. Um, but then Carnival and Norwegian, I think they just, they, at, right after they hit that first quick spike, um, they normalized back down. Carnival was down 7% this week. Norwegian Cruise Line's 19 um, Those are two things that I'm still just taking advantage of um, the here and now because they're really, really low right now because of all the airline and restriction travels. Uh, but they're definitely going to shoot up just because I know um, Jackson, he, he went out and... Um, bought an all-inclusive all vacation or something like that. Um, so he's not the only one. There's going to be a lot of people, either the people who have been working, and they were also putting a pretty tough stop between uh, where they are as a person and where they grew up. Um, so there's a lot of things that are really changing in the time right now. Um, so I think it's important to, to be who you are truly and continue to smile and keep trying to persist and, and do what's best, not only for yourself, um, but the people you surround yourself with. Um, so when you squeeze someone, who they are really tr truly comes out. Um, so who will you be when it's a tough time? Um, I encourage you guys to go out there and crush it this week. I know I have over 20 appointments coming up this next week, and I'm excited. Um, try to make some money. Try to help some people get their 401k set up. Um, if anyone has any insight and any knowledge, anyone wants to throw a, a the week quote of the week for next week, um, shoot me a PM. We can get that taken care of. All right, guys, crush it. I look forward to seeing you again next week at 8 o'clock. Have a nice day.